Hello, everybody. Just a quick little update video for you all. You probably have noticed that my channel has been light on the videos this week. That is because most of you know that I have been traveling. Stephanie from Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening and I did just get back from Washington, D.C. Now, as I posted on Twitter yesterday, we did film a video yesterday regarding our trip to Washington, D.C. However, I have decided to scrap that video because there were some things that we unintentionally left out of the video. So we are going to be going back and reshooting that video either this afternoon or tomorrow morning, today being Thursday the 7th, tomorrow being the 8th. So if you have any questions in the interim, if you have any questions about DC that you're curious about, place them down in the comment section below and I will address them when we are refilming that video. Now, just a heads up, normally on Tuesdays, we drop an installation of the Magdalene Manuscript and of course on Wednesdays, we drop an installation of the Sophia Code. This week that didn't happen because again, I was traveling. However, that will be returning back to the channel next week. I did film yesterday. I filmed for Tuesday and for Wednesday for both installations. I'm super, super, super excited because the next key code in the Sophia Code is Magdalene herself. And that for me is the crescendo because as most of you know, I have a very close relationship with Magdalene. She is one of my guides. I do hear her. I'm Claire Audio. I've heard her since I was 16 years old. And what was so cool for me reading this section is that everything she talked about with her childhood are things that she has told me in my own life. And so that was huge confirmation for me. So I'm super excited about dropping that on Wednesday. Now this Monday, I will be back on Aquarius Rising Africa with Shanti and Mornay. We were gone last week because I was in DC. And then the week before Shanti was a little under the weather. So we will be back with them. We probably are going to be speaking about DC because... As you'll see in on our video, there's a lot of Tartarian stuff there, which is really exciting. And so we're probably going to go over that with Aquarius Rising Africa as well, because Shanti is the Tartarian queen. And so I'm really excited about getting her perspective of what she sees from what we got and just how exciting all this stuff is moving forward into our new timeline. Now, with all that being said, it is probably going to be a couple of more weeks before I get back to doing some Monday mysteries. This is simply because I have been swamped with footage to go through from all of our travels. And I'm really excited about getting that footage out to you guys. We hit up a lot of different locations. And so I'm going to be trying to organize that, get the narration down and get everything put together to put those videos out. Cause I am really excited. I, mean, I love to research anyway, but I'm super excited about figuring out what our real history is because we know the history that we've been given is a crock of shit. And the real history seems to actually be a lot better then the the nonsense that they taught us. And so I'm really excited about getting all that footage out to you guys. Now, Stephanie and I are not done traveling together. This was only the beginning of our travels. And I'm really excited. I do know where we're going next. I'm not going to say anything yet because we need to figure out all the plans. Um, I will not be notifying you guys when I do actually travel because of safety purposes. But once I'm at the location, if you are following me along on Twitter, you can actually, I, I try to in real time, drop little videos and pictures in real time too on my Twitter page. Sometimes I put it on Instagram as well, just depends. But if you're on Twitter, make sure you're following me so you can keep up with our shenanigans as we travel around and look at all these old cities and figure out what is actually going on. I think our next plans, actually, I know our next plans are go, to go more to the Northeast north of new york north of um possibly north of boston in that area and look at some towns that area is obviously more of stephanie's backyard so she's the one where who knows where most of those things are so that's our next plan of action we also have been talking about doing um either a live show with an audience or just a meet and greet um let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that if we do do a live show or a meet and greet the only concern that i have is obviously safety um, I take that very seriously. And so we would probably have to charge a ticket price just so we could cover security, if that makes sense, just to make sure we're all safe. So I wanted to go ahead and put that out there. The ticket would probably only be like $10 or $20, depending on how much it costs for us to actually 
higher security. Everybody's safety is obviously my main concern, Stephanie's main concern. And so I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there. But if that's something that you would be interested in, let us know in the comment section below. Um, obviously, if we do decide to do it. We'll give you guys ample warning as to where we're going to be, what city, what town we're going to be in, um, so that you can make plans if you would like to join us for a live show, a live studio audience while we film a show. So just let me know or meet and greet or both. We could do both, I guess. Um, so just let me know down in the comment section below. I wanted to also give a very, very, very special thank you to all of my patrons and producers because you guys are the true rock stars of this channel. If it was not for you, I would not be able to do what I've been doing. And I love you guys so, so, so much. And I am so grateful for each and every single one of you. I also want to give a very special shout out to Anne Marie for sending me this awesome ornament. I actually got this the day before I left for DC, but nobody knew I was actually going to DC. Only Stephanie and I knew that. And when I got this, I almost shit my pants because it was like, oh God, wink. You know, it was like universe saying, yes, you should be going to DC. This is um, the White House Historical Association Christmas 2020 with JFK. President Kennedy. And so thank you so, so, so much, Anne-Marie. I am so appreciative. I cannot wait to hang this on a tree this upcoming year. Don't know where I'll be at Christmas time, but I'm super excited to hang this up on a tree. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh, and I almost forgot. Jason and Kristen from Arcana Tarot, the YouTube channel. Kristen's been on my channel a few times now. We are in the works to plan a whole series around the Grimm's fairy tale, the Grimm's brothers. I think we have a date picked out for the first show, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to try to get in contact with Kristen today just to confirm some stuff. But I do believe at this point in time, I do believe we are going to be filming from there or shooting the episode from their channel. Um, I think it's going to be done live, which is cool because you guys can interact. Um, I am grateful for Jason because when I do lives, it's hard for me to read the comments and keep my train of thought. So grateful for Jason to be able to do that while Kristen and I can, she can read the cards and I can present my research. So uh, I will keep you guys posted on that as well as to when we have those dates and times figured out. So you can join us, um, live, or if you can't join the live, you can watch it afterwards. But, um, but yeah, so thank you so much guys for everything. I know July is a crazy month. I mean, <laughs> these last seven days have been wild. I tell you wild. I mean, about those Georgia Guidestones, that was one episode I was going to do. Cause we obviously went to the Guidestones about seven days ago. I was going to do a recap. That was the first thing I ever covered on my channel was the Georgia Guidestones, but now that they're gone, <laughs> that might not be coming up on the channel. So I did put some of that footage up on Twitter that I was going to put into the episode we did on the Guidestones. But since things have changed, uh, I just went ahead and put it up on Twitter. So if, again, if if you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and follow so you can keep up with all the footage and stuff. But you guys, I know it's crazy wild month. Apparently, this is the month of death, according to Tamara, which if you guys haven't seen that episode, I'll tag it down below, which is a good thing because the opposite of war is not peace. The opposite of war is creation. And so in tarot, if you get the death card, that also means the rebirth card. So we are rebirthing anew, but things have to crumble. There has to be that tower moment before something new, before something can be created. And holy shit, what a wild month this has already been so far. If you're having anxiety, don't worry. I've been feeling a little anxiety too. Just breathe. I know it's all good. It's all a divine timing. And we got this. We got this. Just laugh. It's it's funny too, right? Sometimes the best thing you can do is just laugh at yourself and laugh at the situation. So um, I love you guys all so, 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 so very, very much. And I thank you guys again for being on this journey. I mean it when I say we are all just walking each other home. We are literally doing this together. And I thank you guys so much for being on this ride with me. All right. I will talk to you guys soon.